good day everybody welcome back to rustic ridge farms as always i'm your host tilham you are amazing for watching and we are here in fall trying to figure out what to do with our trees yes indeed queen of sauce uh, teaches us the glaze the yams it is yam season what better way to enjoy the delightful tuber than by slathering them in sticky glaze get a nice ripe yam and a lot of sugar Here's what you do. You learned how to cook glaze the yams. Oh, boy. Fortune teller for today is very happy. All right. Weather report for tomorrow. Clear and sunny. All right. Well, no watering needs to be done. What's going on here? Nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care, Carolyn. Okay, parsnip soup. Well, speaking of Carolyn, what does it take to make one of these tree bushes? Hmm? Where is the tree bush? Did I miss it? I must have missed it. All right, hang on. Hang on. We'll find it. Aha! There it is. Wild seeds, fiber, and wood. Wild, wild seeds. Okay. Miss anything there? I don't think I. Oh no, mushrooms. Mushroom. We're gonna see mushrooms. There. Whatever. We'll use this. Uh, that's fine. Yes. There we go. Wild seeds, fiber, and wood. Fiber and wood is over here. Wood and fiber, and we can make one tree bush. <gasps> we can make two. We can make three. Oh, they only they only cost two. Oh well. We'll make a whole lot then. And that's all of our wood. Um, that might have been short-sighted of us. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. Are you guys uh, y'all y'all ready yet? Gem berries now? Okay. All right. Well, we have 10 tree saplings. Where do we put them? I think we can put several of them here. Just like this. Because uh, you can't go through them. So they act as a good fence. Now we do have four more. I'm not sure where to put those uh, right now. So we'll just toss them in the chest for a hot minute. Okay, let's zip on down here. Looks a little weird now until they grow in. It'll, it'll look fine later, don't worry. Let's say hello to all of our chicken friends. It is a Sunday. Hopefully we can go buy a rabbit. Maybe two. You know, we should probably sell a couple chickens. Who is the least happiest chicken? You. You have served your purposes. We didn't even make back what you were worth, but whatever. It's fine. Listen. We need this space, okay? And I'm tired of chickens eating all my food. <laughs> I got standards around here, you know what I mean? We got standards. We got, we got stuff we're trying to accomplish, you know? They might be low standards, but they're still standards. Right? Right. Okay. Just as long as we're on the same page. All right. Go say hi to our cows. Hello, cow. Good morning, cow. Don't mind me. Just going to grab a piece of hay for you. There you go. Have some hay. All right. Have a good day. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Now, we do have to grab some seeds. We need some seeds. da 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 da, -da. Yes, acorns. Yeah, whatever. We'll just grab all of the seeds. It's It'll be fine. Um, no worries. No worries at all. Put everything away where it goes. You can go in there. The bait can go inside there. We can put away our eggplant. And off we go with our trusty axe. And we're going to have to go get wood. Uh, it is, at this point, unavoidable. So, let's start down here with our small little tree plantation. Now then, here's the problem. I need wood. Uh, however, these trees apparently will not grow unless they are one tile apart. So, 
that means we need to chop down some trees and space these out a little bit further and see if that works. Because right now what we got going on is just not... It's just not effective, you know? All right, that's all I'm trying to say. All right, that's, that's all. Okay, so we'll go to there. Cool. All right, same thing here. So, uh, I would like the first... Yeah, we're just going to have to chop down the big trees here. It's okay. Like that. Not the end of the world. I mean, you know, we do need wood, so it's okay. Get some more, more maple trees going here. Uh, one there and one there. All right. Now, on this side, I mean, these are all fine except for you. Okay. Very nice. And we'll just chop down everything in between. That will give me five. And I think what I'm going to do is we're just going to mirror... I'm just going to mirror those locations here on the bottom, so... Because I can still walk underneath, right? Yes. All right. One, two, three, four, five. And I need several of these because I need a lot of a lot of oak resin. So we're just gonna we're just gonna make a little, you know, a little tree uh, thing over here. Okay? Okay. Alright, cool. That was a good time. Now, we'll clean this up a little bit since we're down here. No artifact spots today. Okay. And I suppose we should probably go fishing. Um, it seems to make the most sense to do that. And we haven't gone fishing for a while, so let's let's get some fishing done. Go on over here. Oh, little mushroom. Hello. Hello, mushroom friend. How are you today? Oh, I hope you're doing great. Just grab all the fish that we can find. We'll fish for a bit. Probably not all the way until nighttime, like as in, you know, midnight. But we'll fish for a while. We'll get what we get. And be excited to do so. A nice little shad there. And a couple of pieces of bait. So, yeah, we're just going to grab some stuff. Uh, and then uh, wood. We need a lot of wood because we have to upgrade the barn, which is going to take a lot of wood. Also, since I'm over here, I suppose, real fast, I should run up and see. Marnie, are you open on Sunday? Ah, good you are. I would love to purchase a rabbit. Good gosh, are they expensive. All right, fine. We will get a rabbit. And we shall name it what? Um, uh, pricey the rabbit. There we go. $8,000. Jeez. How many rabbit's feet would you need to balance out $8,000? Like, six? Something crazy like that. That's a lot of rabbit's feet. That's all I'm saying. It's a lot to take in. You know, it really is. A lot to take in. Oh, hey, there we go. Walleye. Yes, that's what we want. We want lots of walleye. Not because we need them for the community center anymore, but because they're worth money. Hello, you're very excitable today, aren't you, little fish? What are you? Wow. All right. Well, Mr. Fish here is you're very bouncy. <gasps> a catfish. Behold. Walleye and catfish. Boy, I'll tell you what. If we can catch a bunch of walleye and catfish, I'll be feeling super excited by the end of the episode. Because they are worth some money. And as we all know, we need it. 
Especially now that we just spent $8,000 on a rabbit. A rabbit, of all things. And now we just have to wait for a rabbit's foot to show up, which, who knows how long. You know, and I'm going to be really sad. I should have checked the trader first. If there's a rabbit's foot there... And we just spent all that money on a rabbit without needing to. I'm going to be, I, I will admit, I will be a little uh, bummed out by that. Yeah, I really will be. I think this is a catfish. Could you could you just stay in the green bar, sir? Uh, so I can catch you and, and sell you for money. That would be, I would really appreciate if you could help me out here, you know? All right, cool. Thank you. That's two catfish. That is two catfish. I, again, you know, you kind of want to get those to be iridium quality if you can, but they really jump around and it's kind of tricky to do that. So I'll take, I'll take uh, whatever they ended up being. Oh, another walleye. Very good. So doing great here as far as the fishing is concerned. Uh, we are catching the things that we want to be catching for the most part. Oh, that was close. That was close, friends. We almost lost that one. It was dangerous close to a failure. Uh, not that we haven't had some failures before, but uh, I'm not a fan of them when I really want to catch something and make money on it. So, uh, Fish, could you assist me? Help me help you be caught. Okay, thank you. Wow. Alright, three catfish. Um, once it hits about five, I think we'll run over to the trading cart and see what we got going on over there. To break up the fishing a little bit, you know. We'll see what's going on over there. Maybe we can get super lucky and get a truffle. And then I wouldn't feel like I would have to upgrade the barn. Right at this particular moment in time. And that'd be great. To not have to do it, you know. Alright, let's get the chest. It could be diamonds, you know. It could be diamonds. Or ancient fruit. Uh, as we found out many times. Or rubies. Rubies are nice. Oh, it is Sunday. Hello, Leia. I could have given you a gift. Uh, well, such is life. We do not always have the gifts available in our inventory for people when we see them. Okay, listen. Listen. Listen, fish. All right, I'm tired of your shenanigans. A tiger trout. I didn't realize you were that feisty, Tiger Trout. I, I thought that was another catfish. Uh, I'm pretty sure this one might be. <laughs> wow. Feisty, feisty. Nope, just more Tiger Trout. All right. Well, those are also worth a decent amount of money. All right. And another save, I have a couple of ponds filled with rainbow trout to try to get a prismatic shard. And it's been like a couple years now that I've had them in the game and uh, nothing. I have gotten no prismatic shard whatsoever. And I'm a little bummed out by that. You know, I would have liked to have gotten one. It would have been great. I would have been very excited to have that happen. It just hasn't. That save clearly less lucky than this save. I'm still surprised that we got a prismatic shard from the very first iridium node that we broke open. That was kind of shocking to me. Is the anchor new? It is. Wow, we haven't got any anchor yet? Okay. Well, we have now. Grab some more energy while we're out and about here, eating our cheap sashimi made from uh, periwinkles caught in the crab traps in our farm. Definitely a worthwhile investment there. All right, so I think tomorrow what we'll do is we'll go to the desert and we'll just chop down all the trees in the desert. Farming bonus, max energy, that's nice. Poppy seeds are nice. A lead bobber, also nice. Stone fort, juice, dining table. Wow, you really didn't have much there today, miss. Um, kind of a shame. It's like, I, I like that they wave. You know, that's nice. Also, is that a hippo that pulls the cart? What is that exactly? I mean, it kind of looks like a hippo, but is it actually a hippo? I'm unsure. These are things I've never bothered to look up before, and I just ask in videos in the hope that someone answers. And usually, you all pull through, and you do, in fact, answer those silly questions of mine, and I appreciate that a lot. 
Granted, I think it's just some of you looking it up on the wiki and then telling me, but hey, you still tell me, and that's pretty cool. And uh, I appreciate it. So we were going to wait until wintertime for these, but quite frankly, I need the wood now. Or at least as close to now as doesn't matter. So, we'll be, uh, hopefully by the end of winter, we'll be in a position to either just straight up afford buying whatever wood we need for the last barn upgrade, or uh, we'll be in a position that uh, we'll be able to do that during the springtime. So, because I think it's like 400 something, I, I want to say, for the. The second upgrade was like 450 or something, and then it, it's it's more. It's like a lot more for the last one. So this is the point in the game where we just need wood, and if we want to make more kegs, for instance, just as another example, uh, we would need to take care of that as well with more wood, either purchasing or uh, chopping down in various places. And since we don't have access to the island yet, we can't go to the island and chop down all those palm trees too, which is a very nice source of wood once you're done needing the coconuts there. So once you're done needing the golden coconuts, uh, you can just go over there and chop down the trees, and it's quite helpful, really. I should probably also try to upgrade my axe at some point, but it's a pretty low priority. We have the gold quality pickaxe, which really is what I want out of life. And ideally, if we can get enough iridium together, we get the iridium pickaxe, and then we worry about everything else. Because really, we just need uh, to start buying probably some iridium sprinklers. Uh, it's easier to buy them than make them at this point. And then we could do more farming, obviously, so. Just something to think about. But the more sprinklers we get, the more farming we can do. And the more farming we can do, the more money we can make without actually having to use, you know, the energy. And all of that is to the good. It's all to the good. Uh, we're going to grow this spring. I don't know. Spam cauliflowers, maybe? All right, we're over 500 wood. That's nice. Does this tree grow back? Yeah, well, if it doesn't, it doesn't. We're chopping it down either way. It's going down and yelling timber. Gosh, I hate that song so much. It's not even the song I hate. I just, uh, every once in a while, the, the, the bent vowel diphthong gets me as someone who spent a lot of time in choir. It just, uh, it, it gets to me. It's like a visceral gut reaction sometimes, and I, it, it's not its not personal I, or to anyone or any area of the country. I just, uh, it, it bugs me. <laughs> it really bugs me. I mean, how does my accent probably bug some of you? And again, that's, you know, that's just nothing you can do about it. More catfish. All righty. See, wasn't that a nice break from fishing, everybody? We got some wood. We have over 500 wood. And hopefully we'll have enough money very soon to get the next barn upgrade. Which would be super lovely. Okay, let's put this in here. I don't need that. What else do we get? Oh, yeah, this garbage. We don't, oops. We don't need this actual garbage. So we did get another item for the museum. I don't want to say we're getting close to the museum being done, but we're doing okay. We need the items from the desert still. And we need several items from Omni Geodes. Uh, which, you know, that's just kind of a luck of the draw sort of thing, really, as far as that's concerned. I'm gonna try and go on good good luck days to break open the geodes that you have, and hopefully you get things you don't have yet. Of course, the best place to get Omni Geodes is in the Skull Caverns, really. Uh, which, again, you know, we just got to go over there and grind out some Meridium at some point and upgrade our pickaxe. So, we'll see how all that turns out, especially in, over the, the winter time, I think, is going to be the key. We're very low on energy, and it's almost time to go because it is very late. Almost 12 o'clock in the game, and we have to go sell our stuff yet and put other things away. My goodness, the day has just flown by, hasn't it? Already, already almost over with this day of Stardew Valley. 
Hey, a bream. Hey, and more bait. Okay. Well, fortunately, we do have all of that bait collection on the farm, so we are in constant supply of bait. I found three, sometimes four, depending on how much fishing you do. Uh, worm bins is definitely enough. More than that, and it gets to be overwhelming, depending on how many crab traps you have. But that's a thing, too. I'm going to get a drink real fast. Be right back. So, yeah, just something to think about. I see you there. Ooh, look at that. We just barely snuck past with some energy left. <laughs> okay, let's put those away. We're going to put the tree tap in there. Mainly because I'm not really sure where else I would put it, so that's something to think about. We'll put the geodes away. We're going to sell all the fish, of course, because I don't think I need any of them. And then we're going to go to bed for the day. All right, here we go. Time to put the fish away. We will get a decent amount of money for the fish. Throw that out, too. All right, cool. Can we make it before 1 o'clock? Ooh, it's going to be close. Ding the bell and then go to sleep. There we go. Time to sleep. Woo! Hey, what? Oh, don't do that. I don't want a void egg. Well, I guess we can make a void chicken. You know, suppose we can do that because we have the incubator now. So I guess, thank you, witch lady, I suppose. Hmm. Ah, we can now make the rain totem. The rain totem! One of my favorite items when I want to fish a lot. Because getting catfish, look at that, $1,500 from the catfish. So if we had fished more, if we had fished more, we probably could have gotten quite a bit more money. I mean, those tiger trout also worth a ton. Uh, tiger trout and catfish are where it's at. And of course, the catfish are only there when it's raining. So you want to maximize your profits when fishing in the fall. You need it to rain, which is hard to do without a rain totem. But now we can guarantee it should we so choose. So just another something to think about there. Living off the land, fish focus walleye. You can find it rainy evenings during the fall and winter. Yes, indeed. We just found those. Tomorrow, ooh, a thunderstorm. Well. Well, well, well. All right, there's the cows. There's the rabbit. Our sunflowers are ready. Our amaranth is ready. Oh, I seem to be getting a little little bit gypped on seeds, maybe. Yeah, we only got six. Mm, that's a shame. Our pumpkin should be ready soon, though. And three fish. Perfect. That's three more sashimi right there. That's, that's what that is. Couple more eggplants. Because they were not in the original group of eggplants. Got to grab our pomegranates. We got to grab our mushrooms. Oh, man. All the farming to be done. We should maybe look in at our ancient fruit and just look at it and go, ooh, ah. As it will have grown slightly since we've last seen it. Ooh, ah. <laughs> By the end of winter, that should be producing and we should be able to very quickly fill up the greenhouse. My hope and dream would be to have all Iridium sprinklers in there before we're done with that process, but I don't think that's going to work out. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure, in fact, that it's not going to work out. Hey, hold up a second. First of all, why did that mushroom not go into its home? Mushroom friend, are we out of you inside the chest? Is that we are? Well, there's your problem. There's your problem right there. We were all out of them in the chest. Okay. Go on over here to the gifting chest. The chest of gifting love. Put those away. Put away the honey. And I suppose we'll make a couple sashimis, I guess. Okay. Nicely done. We have this one random sunflower still in the inventory. <laughs> that I don't think we need. All right, we'll put it in there. So do we grab some gifts and go to the museum, or do we just go to the museum? Mm, that's a good question. 
Why are only... Oh, that's right. I sold some of you. All right, well. Time to make a void, chicken. Get that going. I do like to have a void chicken around the farm. Adds that little sense of... Yeah, accomplishment, I guess. Or, or something. Or something indeed. So it's a Monday. It's Monday. Monday. Oh, let's grab... I don't know. Let's just grab some things that maybe people will want if we happen to see them. Um, It's cool, I guess. And then we'll go run around town. Obviously, Pam's not here yet, but we can look for forage. Anything? Nope. Okay. Ah, but we can do this because this will be faster. <laughs> yes, to the town. Go say hi to Clint first of all. Hello, Clint. How are you? Have a topaz. I am glad that's what you're looking for because that's what I brought you. And we're going to run down to the museum and uh, check the garbage can and get nothing. And go and talk to Gunther and drop off this a lovely anchor that we found. Uh, look, we found an anchor. Now let's lay out. Let's put it over here. That's fine. Okay. Oh, I'd say we're about halfway done with the museum. Somewhere around there. Maybe a little more than halfway, but around halfway. We do have some mead. All right, cool. Oh, it's a Monday. What do we got? A hundred, a thousand stone in a week. Wow. Crystals. Oh, okay, but I need some crystal. What kind of crystal? Hmm? What is this? What do you need? Ruby, topaz, emerald, jade, and amethyst. Okay, we'll go look for those in a minute and see if we can find them. I'm not sure if I have all of those on hand. The jade's the one that is particularly questionable. At least to my mind as I currently think about it. Um, we just have to deliver them to her? We don't, we don't have to take them to, like, her house or anything? Okay. All right, well... We certainly have a ruby, and we certainly have amethyst and a topaz. Uh, so yeah, jade, jade is the question mark, really. Um, do I have a jade back at the house? I, I don't know. Will he have some mead? It's great. Ah, oh, if only Pappy was around. He would go nuts for it, because mead is delicious. For those of you who don't actually know what mead is, it's wine made for money. Which is why you put the wine in the keg to make it in the game. But that's also the uh, origin of the phrase honeymoon. Comes from having enough mead to make it a moon's phase. Wow, this is my favorite, Lewis says. Uh, right after you get married. So you basically uh, drink a lot. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and uh, there you go. That's where honeymoon comes from. Isn't that, isn't that exciting? Now you know. George, I do not have anything else, but I do have this pepper, which you don't hate. And I know that you don't hate it. Oh, it's wonderful, very kind. There you go. Now, actually, Evelyn prefers real flowers, like uh, actual flowers. A jade. Oh, boy. You know what? We're going to accept it and just see what we can do with that. Oh, hi, Marnie. How are you? Would you like a coffee? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, Harvey, lo yep. Harvey loves coffee. It's like his favorite thing. Leia likes salad. Salad! There you go. That's exactly what I wanted. Very good. Pam probably wants a beer, so go drop this off with her. On the way back to the farm to look for gemstones. Which I'm not sure if I have or not. Huh. Yeah, well, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll see. <laughs> to the mining chest. All right, what do we got? That's not the chest. There we go. All right, two jade. Uh, we need a emerald. 
So do we need a diamond? Whatever, we'll bring a couple diamonds. And then let's check our list. What do we need? Ruby, yes. Topaz, yes. Emerald, yes. Jade, yes. Amethyst, yes. Okie doke. Well. Uh, since we're gonna go see the wizard, I suppose we should probably bring some of these with us and count them as gifting for the gifting chest. And, uh, maybe real fast before I forget again, we should do a little bit of this too. Let's just harvest our good friends, the amaranth here. We can make a little bit of money. Not a lot, but some. And then let's just chop some of this out of the middle. It'll grow back for a couple days. And we do need it to fill up the silo somewhat before fall is officially over. And that's something to consider also. So there we go. 44 more. Not bad. All right, so we're going to go run over to the wizard's tower, and then we're going to run back into town and see who we can see. Um, I don't know that I have anything that a small child would enjoy on me. Do you like pomegranates? I love presents. Okay, well, you don't despise the pomegranate, so therefore we can still be friends, Jazz. You like pomegranates? We can, we can work this out. You can become my friend, too. All right, wizard guy. Uh, you desired a jade. Your work was satisfactory. Here's your compensation. Very nice. And also, I believe that you like these things. Oh, imbued with potent energy. Very useful. Thank you. Oh, you are welcome. You are so welcome. There you go, wizard friend. Enjoy those items. We need a void chicken to make void mayonnaise so that Krabis can become our friend. We do have rubies to give to the dwarf, which is great. Do we have to give Emily those items one at a time, or can we just talk to her? Because honestly, it'd be a lot easier if we could just talk to her. And the game would auto-detect the items in your inventory. And be like, yes, you have in fact been successful at retrieving this vast list of gemstones. Is anyone home? Jody, are you... Here? Joe? No, Joe? No, okay. All right, no. Well, that's enough. Oh, there goes Emily now. Fortuitous timing. Uh, Haley, are you home? Hello, Haley, are you here? Nope, Haley is not home. Well, the nerve of some people in Stardew Valley to not actually be in their house. It's unspeakable. Oh, there's Maru. Maru likes diamonds. We have some diamonds with us. Here you are. Have a diamond. Very nice. Uh, we already gave Lewis a present. There goes Carolyn. Don't really care. We got the green tea now from her, so we can bribe her with those later on in life. Uh, Haley, which, did you? are you not here? Did you go to the beach? Is that where you went? Uh, I bet she went to the beach. Well, that means we went the wrong way. Sam's coming back into town. There's Evelyn. There's Alex. I don't think we've given Alex anything. Alex, do you, do you... Do you like coconut? Okay, well, you don't hate the coconut. I mean... Penny, do you like coconut? Okay, not really. All right. Well, I mean, that's fair. Coconut's sort of an acquired taste. There's Harvey again. I would like to find Elliot and give him a pomegranate, but... He's not down here on the bridge anywhere that I can see, and... Gosh, I don't see Haley anywhere either. Where did she go? Hey, Elliot, are we friends yet? Can I get in your house? Oh, I think I can. Oh, that would be great if I could, actually. Aha! But you're not... here. Well, darn it. <laughs> so we don't know where Elliot is, and we don't know where Haley is. They are lost somewhere, somewhere in Stardew Valley. And I don't know where that happens to be. There's Pam. Hi, Pam. Uh, there's Shane. Okay, so what happens if I just talk to you? Good weather for a picnic. Okay, so you need a jade and a ruby and an amethyst and an emerald and a topaz. 
thousand dollars. Very nice. And we also did that for the wizard, which is six hundred. Oh, boy. Expensive around here. All right, Shane, today you get a beer. All right. Mostly because it was cheaper than the spaghetti or the pizza, I guess. So there you go. Somebody loves spaghetti, I think, too, isn't it? Don't remember who. All right, seriously. Um, Elliot, Haley, where are there's Abigail? Abigail, how did you get down here? I, I was down here. I looked. Is it going to say locked after seven? <laughs> How did I know that was going to happen? Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's all right. Let's just go to the mine car. We'll go say hi to the dwarf real fast and drop off a ruby. Although, is that even worth? Because, like, we don't have this scroll yet. I don't know. Let's just go to floor 110. I guess we'll try and dig around in some dirt and see if we can't find, like... Um, what's that called? Oh, Lord. Never mind, it's not gonna work out. We have too much stuff. Let's just, let's just go back to the house. Fine, game. Fine! We won't do anything I wanna do. We'll do everything you wanna do, game. I see how it is. <laughs> All right, let's sell a couple of those. Let's sell those. Sell that stuff. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. <laughs> Put all of these things away. <sighs> oh wait, no, we gotta put this away too. Do -do 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 there we go. And we have chopped ourselves some glorious, glorious uh, hay for the farm. So we got that done. Ah, well, I, I don't know what to do at this point. Um, let's check and see how much we actually have in here. We're about halfway. All right. Not, not terrible. We're just going to go to bed early tonight, okay? Sorry. I was going to go mine, and then it's just not going to work, and then today's luck was perturbed, and whatever. It's thunderstorms tomorrow. Okay. All right, cool. All right, well, let's go to bed. We'll see you guys in the next episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. We did make a little bit of money. And uh, until we meet again, my friends, take care.